There we go. Let there be rice. White rice today because I just don't have time <laughs> to wait on uh, on the other rice. 15 minutes on the clock. Boom, 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 boom. You want rice? You want rice? Yeah. yeah, rice! I don't think he wants rice. By the way, hello everyone and welcome to Friday. Um, I'm working on chicken rice pea because it's what I'm gonna be doing for lunch. Um, Mao's doing something far more interesting than what I'm doing and that is chai tea. Spice chai tea. And you've done this before, right? Yeah. But didn't I haven't done it since we uh, lived in the apartment and even then that was a while ago. Oh wow, that, yeah, that's been some time ago. Well you, did you ever make it cold? I always have it cold. Really? Uh-huh, when I do this. I thought the first, I thought you made it hot. I have like bags of chai tea that are hot. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Um, I, I remember trying it whenever um, Mao made it years ago and like, it was okay. It wasn't, a, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything that was like, oh I want to make that all the time. I was just like, eh. But I'll try some when you make it today. One of the things that Mal's really excited about is um, she has whole nutmeg. So she's going to be like grinding her own nutmeg. And she's super pumped about that because we always buy it powdered. Powdered, yeah. So you just sprinkle it on. It's more convenient. But apparently, it tastes a lot better if you grate it fresh. So she's excited about that. Uh, another thing I'm excited about, where did I put it? Oh, is this. Mario Tennis Aces. Um, this is this is cool because it's Mario Tennis and I want to play Mario Tennis. But it's cool because Nintendo sent it to us. And we have been Nintendo brand ambassadors for a while. Two years. I think two years. And in that time, uh, being a Nintendo brand ambassador lets you, like, you know, request games. Well, I've requested several games. And I was always told, like, you know, we don't have availability for that right this second. But if that changes, we'll let you know. And I was like, okay. So over the years, like, I've probably requested probably maybe four or five different games. And I, I, they just always said they didn't have availability. And to be frank, I, I, I actually thought they were just kind of blowing me off. And then I requested Mario Tennis, and they gave me the same answer. They were like, you know, we don't have any availability. And then like a week or so later, they were like, we have availability again. And I was like, oh okay. They're like, do you still want it? And I'm like, you sh yes. And they said, okay. So they sent it. So at least I feel better because I know I'm not getting completely blown off by Nintendo. Um, cause I wanted to cover this for a first 20 and now I can. So thank you, Nintendo. I appreciate you sending that our way. That'll be next week's first 20. I'm excited to try it out. I haven't played a Mario tennis game in a while. I think maybe the last one I played was on the N64. Maybe, but I liked it. I, I remember renting that one from Blockbuster and really enjoying it, so it'll be interesting to see how much that's changed now that it's quite up to date. How does it feel? Good. Does it feel good? It feels so good. Probably doesn't feel that good for the nutmeg. Probably not. The chicken's looking good. Yours looks like a concoction, but I also know that it's going to turn out better than it looks. <laughs> Mal's got an orange and yogurt. Yeah, well, the, I needed the zest for the tea. So now you're just eating the orange? No, I'm just eating the orange. And I have a pile of chicken rice pea. Oh, also, I'm sure people would be interested to hear how those bandages are working for you. Good. Are they really, like, you're not having... I don't think so. I mean, you looked at it when you changed it last night. Was I red or anything? It seemed like it was okay, especially for the fact that, you know, on the other bandages, mm -hmm. you were itchy, like, yeah. the first day. And you've had these for like two days and you haven't had any problems, so fingers crossed those those next care three M ones um, are working. So that's good. Is that gonna be your your cup? It's still it's still warm though, right? Yeah, but I'm putting the half and half in. Oh and the half and half is cool, so it'll Yeah, it's help hot. It. And it's not hot hot, like it's just a little warm. Okay. How is it? It's good. You want to try it? Nope. No? No. I just I just ate all that food and I'm like... Just I, a sip? I say, mm, no. I'm good for now. I do want to try it. I just I don't want to try it right <laughs> now. 
you, it, like tomorrow when it's like it's been chilled, I'll probably okay. try some. But it's good. It's good. Well, it's good. Turned out good. Can you taste the freshly grated nutmeg? I don't know. Let's but it smelled really good when I grated it, so. A few hours and one fresh shave later, um, I am finished with Morning Mario for next week. Um, and actually, the week after that. Um, recorded two weeks, and uh, I probably need to record even more than that. Trying to get ahead on stuff uh, just because, well, at the end of... So how how long? A week from now. A week from now, um, our guests, our friends, are coming, and um, then they're going to be here for a week. And then when they leave, it's like a few days, and then Dan is actually gone. So I think I need to record even more Morning Mario. Um, so I might have to do even more of that um, tomorrow or something like that. It's just like boom, 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 boom. Lots of stuff is happening again. Uh, actually, I had not unpacked the Wii U from the Vancouver trip. So um, our, I have a suitcase still laying in here um, that has everything in it. And um, I, I pulled the stuff out and I hooked everything back up. Everything was fine. Survived the trip just fine. And then I realized I couldn't find Mario Maker because I didn't take it with me because it's a single player game. I didn't assume that we would play it. So I left it here, but I put it in like the dumbest spot. And um, I didn't know where it was. Because what happened was when I left here, I left here in such a hurry, um, and also didn't have Mal to like remind me of like, hey, make sure you do this, uh, that when I was packing everything up and I took the, the disc out, put it in the case, I was like, oh, I just put it somewhere. So um, I ended up, what, what I did is I put it in with um, like a completely different set of games behind some games, and it took me forever to find it. But eventually I found it and I was able to record tonight, so that's good. Um, this has still got to get organized. Um, I've been in the process. I don't think I've talked about it on the new timeline. I talked about it on the old timeline. We're not there yet. I'm, I'm still in the process of printing up the uh, the N64 cases, um, but I haven't done it in a while. I, I've, I've been busy with so many other things. I've just been kind of putting it off. The GameCube collection is coming along really, really well. Um, we've continued to pick up stuff from Player's Choice. Roland has actually been on the hunt occasionally and picking up different titles. You guys have sent in quite a few titles uh, from mail, which is fantastic, and those mail videos should be out, fingers crossed, in the near future. Um, but we're opening mail, just so you're aware. So your mail isn't just sitting around forever. We are opening it relatively on time, which is good, um, and more of the games are getting added to the shelf. Uh, we're not, I think... I, we're down to 63 GameCube games we need. Whenever we get like below 50, I'll probably make a video about it and just say if there's anyone that wants to send in any, uh, you know, GameCube games that we're missing is a big final push to try and get there. Uh, that would be helpful. Um, also, the convention that we're attending in August, uh, which is the Southeast Game Exchange. It's in Greenville, South Carolina. It's August 18th and 19th. Um, that's also a big gaming thing like it's a what's well, a game exchange there's going to be a lot of people that are selling video games so I'll probably be able to pick up some we're missing there too but we're getting there anyway that is it for today thank you so much for watching uh the way I'm going to end this vlog is by taking Mao up on an offer that I denied earlier she had a cup of chai tea and I was like nah I don't feel like it I'm full I don't feel like having anything like that but now it's been a few hours it's had time to chill I'm kind of thirsty. I think I'm going to have some. So you don't drink it just like this? No. Chai is how tea is just made in India. Like, they don't make it like you and I make it, or they even make it in England. They make it with the spices and the milk. So if I just drink it like straight like this, that's not... How they do it. But, but wouldn't it be better? <laughs> and stronger? Add a sip and then add some milk and see what you think. That's really strong. Yeah, that's so why it's concentrated. But I like it. <laughs> Add the appropriate level of, of milk. Okay, mix that around. Is that the way to do it? Yeah. Just shake it. See, the thing is, I'm not a huge fan of milk. That's why I'm just like, eh. Yeah, it's, that's good. <laughs> it is. That, that's good stuff. I, I think it's probably better with the milk. 
I think it's better with the milk. It, it's supposed to be served with the, the milk. Yes. Um, but it's actually fine without it. Even if that's not like a thing that people do. I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's really strong. But also like when I make tea, I make it yeah. filthy strong. So it's probably why I'm okay with it. Anyway, okay. I had my chai. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, that's it. We're done for reals now. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?